On May 11, 2024, the Sun unleashed a colossal X5, eight-class solar flare, one of the most powerful in recent history, followed closely by an X1, five-class flare. These enormous bursts of solar energy originate from the Sunspot AR 3664, revealing the Sun's dynamic and volatile nature. Solar flares like these can disrupt radio communications, affect satellite operations, and even cause power outages on Earth. This video will explore how solar flares occur, their profound impacts on Earth, and the cutting-edge technology used to monitor and mitigate their effects. Stay tuned to learn why solar activity is a key player in our technologically tethered lives. Solar flares are spectacular displays of the sun's immense power, captivating both scientists and the public alike. But what exactly are these solar phenomena, and how do they come to be? To truly understand solar flares, we need to delve into the sun's complex magnetic field and its interaction with the solar atmosphere. Solar flares, defined. Solar flares are sudden eruptions of energy on the sun's surface. These flares are powered by the release of magnetic energy due to changes in the magnetic field lines that penetrate the sun's surface. When these lines snap and reconnect, they release a massive amount of energy in the form of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. Formation of Solar Flares the process begins deep within the sun's convective zone, where dynamic movements create twisted magnetic field lines. These lines stretch upward, poking through the sun's surface and into the corona. Here, they can become tangled, and with enough tension, these tangles can suddenly snap and realign, releasing energy in what we observe as a solar flare. Classification and Measurement Solar flares are classified into five categories, A, B, C, M, and X, with X being the most intense. Each class has a peak flux range of 1 to 9 plus, which indicates the flare's brightness in X-rays near Earth. The flares on May 11, 2024, were classified as X5, 8, and X1, 5, signifying their immense strength. Scientific Importance of Studying Flares Understanding solar flares is crucial because they not only help us learn more about our star's behavior, but also because they can directly affect space weather. The data collected from these events helps refine our models of solar dynamics and improve predictions of solar activity. Technologies involved. To monitor and study these solar events, scientists use instruments like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SSDO, and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter. Solar flares impact Earth in more ways than one might initially think. From the beauty of the Northern Lights to the disruption of communication systems, the effects are profound and far-reaching colossal X5. Eight-class solar flare was followed by yet another X1. Five solar flare, the strongest type of flare there are. Just when we thought we'd seen the most powerful flares from a colossal sunspot, the sun unleashed its strongest eruption of the weekend yet, triggering a radio blackout, even as the star continued to crackle with solar storms. According to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, the dynamic solar flare occurred late Saturday, May 10th, from an active sunspot region called AR. 3,664. It peaked at 9.23 p.m. EDT, 0123 May 11th GMT, registering as a massive X5, eight-class flare, SWPC officials said. As a result, parts of some of the Earth's sunlit side had temporary or complete loss of high-frequency HF radio signals. Communication Disruptions the most immediate impact of solar flares, particularly those of the X-Class, is on Earth's ionosphere, through which radio waves travel. These flares can cause sudden ionospheric disturbances, leading to the absorption of high-frequency radio waves. 
This results in radio blackouts, which can affect airplane communication, maritime distress frequencies, and any technology that relies on shortwave radio, GPS and navigation. Solar flares emit intense X-rays and ultraviolet radiation that can expand the Earth's upper atmosphere, causing additional drag on satellites in low Earth orbit and degrading the accuracy of GPS signals. Power grids and infrastructure. Perhaps the most significant impact is the potential threat to power grids, especially from associated coronal mass ejections, CMEs, that often accompany large flares. These CMEs can induce large currents in Earth's magnetosphere, which in turn can induce currents on the ground, potentially leading to transformer damage and power outages, as seen in the Quebec incident in 1989. Scientific and monitoring responses. In response to these threats, organizations like NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center provide real-time monitoring and forecasting of solar activity. Their alerts help power companies, airlines, and other sectors prepare for and mitigate the effects of space weather. As the sun continues its active phase, the importance of monitoring and preparing for solar events has never been more critical. The technology and strategies employed to mitigate these solar threats are both sophisticated and vital to our modern way of life. Monitoring Technologies Key to this effort is the array of satellites and ground-based observatories monitoring the sun 24-7. Instruments like the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, provide invaluable data on solar activity. These observatories track sunspot formation, solar flares, and CMEs, providing the essential data needed to forecast space weather. Global Coordination in Space Weather Forecasting Organizations such as NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center and the European Space Agency, ESA, work internationally to track and analyze space weather. Their collaboration ensures that data and insights are shared globally, optimizing the response to solar events. The information provided by these organizations helps power companies, airlines, and space agencies make critical decisions about safeguarding their operations. Mitigation strategies. Beyond just monitoring, active steps are being taken to protect against the effects of solar flares. Power companies can adjust voltage levels and switch grid configurations to mitigate the effects of geomagnetically induced currents. Satellite operators can put satellites into safe mode to protect sensitive electronics during solar storms. Future technologies and research. Looking ahead, advancements in forecasting models and protective technologies are on the horizon. Research into more resilient power grids and communication systems continues to advance, reducing the potential impact of solar storms. As we've explored today, the magnificent display of X-class solar flares on May 11, 2024, is more than just a spectacle. It's a potent reminder of our sun's power and its direct impact on our daily lives. From disrupting global communications to enhancing the beauty of the northern lights, these solar events connect us directly to the broader universe. Thank you for joining us in this journey through the dynamics of solar activity and its earthly effects. If you found this overview enlightening and want to keep up with more cosmic phenomena and how they affect us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for our channel. Keep watching, stay curious, and as always, Keep your eyes on the skies.